Hello, thanks for joining me for Burning Sky Week. Yes, I'm doing a whole brewery, Burning Sky Brewery from East Sussex, one every day for a week, starting today, Monday. So, um, yeah, and here's the first beer. Um, I've got seven beers, of course. I'll be posting these in the morning and then other reviews in the afternoon, early evening time. Anyway, this is Burning Sky's Robust Porter. Coming in at 5.8% ABV. Not had this one before. Picked this one up at the Night Swift in Margate. So yeah, start off with a dark beer. Bit of smoke, black bowl cap. Oh. Lots of kind of chocolate notes on the nose. Let's go straight in then to the glass. Not a lot of people drink this kind of style or stouts this time of year, especially in this weather. But yeah, so I thought I'd start off with it. Beer in a glass, then it's uh, one thing uh, lightly tan coloured head. Getting a lot of reflection there. Jet black in the glass. Maybe a slight ruby hue, I don't know if that's reflections or. There's a slight rubiness coming through, but yeah, it's quite a quite a dark porter. Lovely creamy head on this one. Let's get an aroma. <sighs> Lots of I'll get a little bit of uh Well lots of chocolate for a start. There's a slight spiciness in this. A little bit of char. A little bit of dark fruit. Maybe some black blackberries. Slight sweetness there somewhere. Smells creamy, smooth, and luxurious as well. So leaving a nice lacing on this. Been out of the fridge about half an hour. It's a really well conditioned beer as well. Lots of bubbles chasing the head, so let's go straight in and see what we get on this one. Cheers. Oh man. I've not had, I think I've had one dark beer from this brewery. As you know, they're all for um, barrel agents like Saison's, that kind of thing, which is pretty damn amazing. Um, I'm not going to do any spoilers, but I've had quite a few of their beers, um, as a lot of people have locally to me. But yeah, we'll put that up there so you can see the bottle. So it's a 330ml. Is there a date on this? Yeah. Um, bottled on the 16th of October of 2018, best before the 15th of October of 2019. So, yeah, it's um, nine months. June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, eight months in the, in the bottle. So, I haven't gone into the commercial description or anything, so I don't know what it's, they're saying, whether it's been aged or anything. We'll get into that in a minute, if there's any info. But yeah, just taking this beer and it's, it's for a first beer of the seven that are coming up. This is pretty fantastic. Wonderful mouthfeel. That's one of the first things that he picks up on the palate. There's a nice kind of milky chocolate, but then it goes into this kind of, I don't know, it's like, like a slight there's tannins of something, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if it's bone barrel aged or anything, but I'm, I'm picking up a slight smokiness as well. Oaky smoky. There's a slight, there's a mild leather kind of quality to the beer. Touch of coffee, touch of dark fruit, a little bit of bitterness on the back end. That's yum, that is. Wow. 
really, I mean, I'm not really stirring it around much, but it's really got some great head retention on it. Lovely bit of lace in there. Lovely creamy thing. Nice. Mm. Did I pour it all out? See, it's another good sign. Wanting more. You can't have more. But yeah, if they, if this is around, I will definitely be picking up some more bottles of this for the for the winter autumn time. Yeah, I'd say autumn. Um, see what it says on the back. Then it says robust porter uses the finest Maris Otter barley and a complex range of roast uh, of roast and crystal malts, hopped with spicy target uh, Sussex grown hops. This rich and satisfying beer is sure to fortify you and I love the artwork I must go into this their artwork on their bottles is absolutely banging I love it like a market stalls and stuff like that which I don't know if that's France or Sussex or whatever it doesn't matter where it is it's, it's absolutely fantastic I love it um, it's a bottle conditioned beer, poor care, store cool, it's been in the fridge. Ingredients, water, uh, malted barley, hops and yeast which we know, brewed and bottled, burning sky, Farley, East Sussex, burning sky, beer.com is a website. I put all the information down below as well as my burning sky playlist. Um, I've not reviewed, I've probably reviewed three or four beers from them. Um, but there's lots of kind of core range beers. All the beers I'm going to be re reviewing this week are going to be in free 30 mil bottles. They do a large range of, um, I think it's 750 mil bottles or 650 mil, one of the two. Um, I've had a few of them and they are. Pff, um, but yeah, back to this then. This is uh, this is absolutely fantastic. I'll give it one more sip and see if there's any other information. That's a very good pour, I have to say. Lots of dark fruit coming out now. It's starting to open up a little bit after coming out of the bowl. Awesome stuff. We're on the longest day of the year. And, yeah, it's like, I don't know, 10 to 9 in the evening. It's still pretty, I mean, for this part of the UK. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous for me. I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10. I think that's a really damn good beer. Um, so it's a 4.25 um, on the untapped scale. 8.5 eight out of 10. Over to untapped then. It's had 1,525 check-ins. 46 in the last month. Which that kind of probably reflects the weather we've been having. It's, the weather's literally just broke in the last few days. It's starting to get a bit warmer kind of thing. So pre reviewing these beers ready for the weather we've got now so um, yeah back to the scores on the doors um, it's had 1,356 check-ins and it's coming in at 3.79 so that's about just a shade over a 7.5 out of 10 which I think is a bit better than that to be honest with you um, I'll give it a whole grade point more 22 of people who follow me have had this coming at 3.93 that's just under an 8 out of 10, but I'm giving it a little bit more. Um, it, it's a solid, solid porter. Um, I have to say, it's a really damn good beer. So, let me know if you've had this one before. This is Burning Skies Robust Porter. 5.8% ABV, 330ml bottle. Yeah. Lovely start to the week then. For my first kind of brewery showcase. Um, but yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, let me know if you've had this one before. Um, it's worth seeking out if it's still around. I'm not sure of the availability of this. Um, if you see it, buy it. Thanks for watching then, and I'll see you on the next Burning Sky Review. Cheers.